two week-ish, it's a little, a week ago, two weeks ago maybe, I did a big book unhaul. I wish I took a picture of it. I got rid of two big bins. Um, I took them to Second and Charles, sold them, got like a pretty, pretty penny for them, honestly. But in doing that, I like unstacked this one. It was double stacked like all the way across and now it's like hat, like I think this is where the other stack of books, it's like this little corner. That's pretty great. This whole shelf is no longer double stacked, except for the middle one because I got lazy putting all my books back up. I put shelves up, I've gotten books off the floor, and then this is like the last little, like these two piles are the last little piles that I have of books to put up. So I did really great, but in unhauling books, unhauling books, my brain told me you have room to buy more books. That was such a bad idea. I cannot stand myself for buying more books. But this is my only hobby that I really have and I really do. So we're here. We're going to mood read together. You and I. We're going to tackle our physical TBR and I'm going to post these vlogs no matter how weird they may be. This could get chaotic because I am a mood reader and I also work two jobs currently. So I really kind of just read whenever I can. And so we're going to do like a realistic what can I read from a Friday to a Friday. Today is Friday. It's really late on Friday. But we're going to see what I can read from Friday to Friday and then post it. Of course I came semi-ish, kind of-ish, prepared with the books that we're going to read. All mood reading. All different genres. And we're just going to do this like every couple of weeks to tackle this beast that I've created. But we're going to have fun with it. We're going to see what it is. And then I think I'm just going to do this every couple of weeks where I chaotically mood read or like do dedicated videos to different genres. This one's kind of like all of the genres that I read from. Uh, kind of, almost. I'm kind of digging these colors together. I, I, I love these actually. These are beautiful. I'll see you guys in the first update. We're back so soon because I didn't get up out of the spot. I opened my book and I started tabbing and I kept reading and they're so cute. There's text messages in the book. Also, like that picture, I'm quite sure that's Madison's hand. That is like, she's so fucking real for that. She's so fucking funny for that. She's like, I'm just going to put my own hand in there. Why not? The cuteness, the creativity in this is like so fun. Oh my god. He is obsessed. He's obsessed with her, but he's so sweet, but he's not so sweet. He is falling for her. I don't think he's ever spent this much time like talking and like texting and being all cutesy with another person because he's like this bad player boy, right? He's letting her in. They text each other good night and good morning and about their day this is the romance i wanted this is the romance i craved my fiance was like you should read this book next because you're sitting there staring at all of your books and you don't know what to pick up so just pick up good game and i went okay <laughs> he was right this is oh god this is so did he read this he didn't read this he doesn't know about this he doesn't know how good this book is what a shame i'm only 180 pages in I think I'm gonna read like one more chapter and then shower and go to bed. This is so funny. I'm loving Parker and I know that his book comes out this Tuesday I think or like this Friday or something like this. Um, yes I have had this book, well the ebook since October and my husband got me a physical book for like a little gift. I have no excuse for waiting this long but this is so funny and so steamy like 50 pages in been at the like streamer awards this whole time that's their first interaction because she's a cocktail waitress and he's a streamer and they're like oh she seems familiar and I think it's because her ex ran in the same circles as the as some of the streamers but I don't like really know much about her ex nor do I care to know anything about her ex um I just care about Stevie I just care about Stevie and Alex and Parker and Jackson Wait, this might become one of my all-time favorite series. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna need room up there to display these bad boys. Hello and welcome back. It's 12.14. I was gonna check my watch, but it died. I 
I had a rough night getting to sleep last night. I didn't like take off my makeup or brush my teeth or do anything to get ready for bed until like 1.30 a.m. I want to finish reading today and then I might go to Scooters and get an actual coffee with oat milk in it slash oh they have these pretzel bites now which I don't know if my scooter location has them. I just want today to be a very calming book day for me because I had a really rough two days and then tomorrow is Memorial Day slash beach day for me. I'm gonna try and go to the beach with my husband. We'll see if the weather actually lets us. I'm on chapter 26 page 286 and I have this much left to go. Most of this at the end is like a bonus scene, a uh, scene from the second book and the acknowledgments, which I am going to read the author acknowledgments and the author's note. If, wait, there's one. Acknowledgments, yep. And about the author, yep. I am going to read all of that because I absolutely love Madison. She's so fucking hilarious. And I read all of this on my e-reader over the course of a day. That's like 110 pages, I think. 111 pages but I am gonna annotate because it's so funny right now I'm so sorry spoilers out of context spoilers um they are like mass gamers no one's supposed to know their identity and our main character is dating one of them but she doesn't know that like they're just going on dates they're just hanging out and they met each other while he was like in his mask and then they met again when he was out of his mask and he's like this is my time to shine let me go get little shoddy's number so he does and then he doesn't end up getting the number he ends up fumbling the bag and then a couple of like weeks later he sees her again and he's like no now is the time now is the time so he goes to get her number asks her out on a date it's so cute they're having such a great time it's so funny it's so like witty full of banter like to the max and spicy like spicy spicy she is still kind of obsessing over like blade which is his gamer tag she's still obsessing over blade and she's like, it's so bad. I can't be falling for two guys at once, even though it's the same guy. She doesn't know that, though. And she's just like, ah, he knows that. He knows that she's falling in love with both of him. Um, and he's like, I don't really know what to do at this point because, like, I'm not going to jeopardize our career for the love of my life. But I kind of want to. Like, I selfishly really, really want to. But I'm not going to. And there's so many times where he slips up. And she almost figures it out. I can't put into words how good this is. And Parker, Stevie and Parker's like friendship and banter is fucking hilarious. Because she's like, I didn't throw myself at you. I dove gracefully. And he's like, if a stone was graceful, yeah, you did. <laughs> and I just love them so much. Also, Jackson, who is S.H.I.E.L.D., um, I think his book's going to be the third book. I don't know. I don't know who the love interest is going to be, but I'm so excited to find out who the love interest is going to be because Jackson is just like, he seems like a very grumpy, soft giant. And I'm excited to finish this book. I have like a couple more spicy scenes that everyone talks about that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, so I'm, I don't know how this book is going to end, but we are here. I went to comic-con went to comic-con it was so fun very overstimulating no I didn't film anything because um I feel awkward filming in public I'm trying to be really careful because I have such an exciting box oh my goodness my favorite one is right on the top <gasps> there's art I need to calm down I need to calm down I cannot be screaming and yelling like this so if you know me from like book talk then you know the Bergman brothers are my favorite books ever and I needed the afterlight set like literally I was panicking that I wasn't gonna get one or that something was gonna go wrong and it didn't and well a couple of things could have gone wrong like they spelled my name wrong they spelled my address wrong <laughs> um it was like radio silence because I ordered these in like March and it's now May spoilers if you don't want to know spoilers in this box if you bought it go away oh my god it's the whole family. I'm gonna cry. I can't cry. I'm gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. 
okay they're individually bubble wrap there are so many books in this little like there oh my god okay well first up with you forever oh my god the cabin this is Rooney and um, Axel's story, and it is, oh my goodness, this is Rooney and Axel's story, and it is a marriage of convenience story. Oh my god, I'm never going to get over these. I'm never going to get, do I open each one individually with you guys? Why not? What, what else are we doing in this reading vlog? Clearly not reading, because I haven't continued Good Game. Everything for you. This is Ollie and Gavin's story. Oh my god, these animations are so... They're so gorgeous. Okay, I'm... I can't. I can't open all of these with you guys. I gotta go. I got to go. Like, I have to fawn over these and, like, freak out. Oh my god update it's been two days two days it's been it's been some days i don't know but it's now wednesday um i finished good game yesterday two days ago i don't know i finished it i'll have an in-depth like what this book is about review thing in a minute um but it's like 4 30 a.m so i decided to start trial of the sun queen so i could try and like get myself to go to sleep because one thing about me in this book is that every time i pick it up i go to sleep that's not on purpose it's not boring it's not like dis. i'm not disinterested it's just every time i pick this book up i get to chapter two i pass out um same thing happened to me with daughter of the moon goddess every time i picked that book up i fell asleep at chapter three and that's my friend's like favorite book in the world and i cannot read it because i will just pass out hello um i realized a couple of things is that I thought this was going to be like a weekly reading vlog. It's not. It's turned into like an all month reading vlog and I've kind of lost a lot of clips. Um, but the books that we were talking about were Good Game, Trial of the Sun Queen, which I have not continued because I need my eyeballs to read that. I don't have an audiobook of it and it's currently like 2 a.m. and I have a ton of work to do so we're obviously going to turn on an audiobook instead. The question is, is do I own the audiobook for any of the books that I was planning on reading in this vlog? Who knows? But also, um, I can't do weekly reading vlogs because life moves really fast for me, apparently. And I don't read as much as I think I do in a week. Um, like, this month alone, I've only read four books. I say only, but, like, that's a lot for me. <gasps> I do have the audiobook of Butcher and Blackbird, so we're probably going to listen to that as we do some work. Um, because Trial of the Sun Queen, I think, is an audible only audiobook or something like that, so it's not in Libby, um, and I don't have any credits anywhere else to use for my audiobooks, so we're gonna listen to Butcher and Blackbird. But I did get two, I got three more books. One of them I'm doing as, like, a, like, a hate read, which I hate doing that. I think it's, well, I don't hate it. It's actually pretty fun. I read... I don't always read from authors that I hate but like sometimes there's a book that just gets really really divisive and I want to read it it's called the deer and the dragon I think and the dedication alone I'm gonna put it right here the dedication alone took me out it's wild that this woman is still allowed to write I don't know so you guys get another update welcome to my 5 a.m. work setup I've been up this entire time working and listening to Butcher and Blackbird and oh my god my annotations on this audiobook are wild. They're crazy because this book is so cute and funny. I'm so confused. I do not think I would enjoy this. I do need to wrap this up. I didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted to. Like it's kind of planned out but it's nothing it's like scheduled and that is the part that stresses me out the most. Like, I can plan things and I can make them and I can type up all of the drafts and I can make all the posts, but I schedule it. Hmm. I need all of it approved before it can go up. But this book is absolutely hilarious and oh my god, you're telling me that the next book, Leather and Lark, 
that's gonna be a power best ride and his brother oh my god hello good morning i'm at my washer so you're really tall right now like you're so high up there or maybe i'm just really short uh, i fell asleep at like 6 a.m which is crazy crazy um but butcher and blackbird hilarious i'm convinced that it was supposed to be listened to as an audiobook that is the only right way like i've tried reading the physical book many many times i've tried reading the arc when it was or the book when it was on ku i tried reading the physical book when i got a physical copy and nothing and now the audiobook is just like emotion and funny and it's duet Oh, it's so freaking good. I also got to the accidental accidental cannibalism part. Fucking wild. Like, crazy. Absolutely insane. But still so good. Basically, Butcher and Blackbird. Maybe I should record this when I'm not like this. Because I do need to finish getting ready for the day if I'm hoping to go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. Anyways, that's it. too late that the clip I was recording didn't have my little microphone plugged into it so we're just gonna do it again but I opened this mail oh it's a selfie stick tripod and I know that everybody else has been getting those aggressive ads on TikTok about this stupid thing no matter how many times I click disinterested or not interested one will pop up and then I'll like interact with it for five seconds and then a bunch of them come. Oh, that's gigantic, actually. Well, not really. I still can't do standing videos. But I'm going to switch from one to the other. And I'm going to show you guys the tripod I was using. God, that's so loud. Um, So this one, I did not get it from the TikTok shop. I, because, like, the girl math wasn't mathing. I was like, I could either wait a month to get it or I could order it and have it in, like, a week. So for the same price as well this is the one that i have been using um it gets pretty tall it has a ring light attached to it and this cord that like i keep getting tangled into my like mini microphone yeah that's <laughs> i had all of that wrapped around this little thing it looked pretty nice when i did it the first time but the more that i had to like pull this out and like move it around the cords just kept getting tangled it's not going to waste it's just not what i wanted to use and like i can't take this and put it on a desk i can't take this out to do like book vlogs and stuff but this little guy he's like a selfie stick so i can it's lighter so butcher and blackbird never quite gave a synopsis i'm 195 pages in I have this much left and then all of this to annotate which I'm super excited that I can like finally do annotating videos I'm so excited to do this it's gonna be so fun you're following Sloan and Rowan who are both serial killers and they kill other serial killers um so kind of like a righteous thing and I've noticed an uptick 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 in the niche of like serial killing romances not a huge uptick by any means but like the mindfuck series by sc abby and this series kind of giving me the same vibes like not at all because she falls in love with an fbi agent they're falling in love with serial killers it's a whole thing but i liked that one but i only liked it after about book three where this one i instantly liked it because it was funny and like is it gross yes is it dark and gory gory absolutely yes is it good yeah and it has a playlist that i'm probably gonna listen to as i annotate sloan and rowan meet when she is like trapped in a cage essentially after killing someone and they were going after the same person they make a joke of like oh you beat me to it like because they're fangirling over like knowing who they are and they're just geeking out and then they decide how about every year once a year we pick a target and we go after them what what if we did that um, and like the winner, like, I don't know, gets a prize or a trophy or something like that. Just like little serial killer fun, right? We don't have any friends. Three to it, they go along and then you're following them. They're on their third year of doing this, uh, where I am in the book. 
we've met some interesting characters um there's a new character unlocked her name is rose what do we know about rose i don't know nothing about rose but i do know that like unlike the um what was it called mindfuck series like they have a support system this is so weird they have like a support system of people who know what they're doing why they're doing it and they're just like pop off we don't really care be safe be safe in what you're doing don't get caught uh, they make jokes about like devolving and they make jokes about like Ugh, I'm gonna go to jail why why are the police so stupid why can't they figure this out so is this realistic absolutely not but is it funny yes yes it is it's so incredibly warm upstairs so I'm only up here for a quick little update because I did get my second package of the day I also put my phone on the tripod and like I don't I don't want to mess with it but it's so like small and like I could probably set this up anywhere which is pretty great for me but I got the fake May by Log Ferguson specifically the fairy loot edition from a pango seller I'll put their pango account right here because I've been scouring for this copy in particular because it just looks like it just looks so amazing look at the paw prints on the side and I knew that I wanted this book in the fairy loot edition and I have been waiting like a couple weeks to like find a reasonable price and they were all like snatched up and then I saw this last one and I was like honestly if I'm gonna do it I should do it now because I don't think I could have made these little paw prints on any other hardcover I could find and it's just like also this cover the reversible dust jacket is just so cute the reason I want to read this book and I'm like maybe I'll be very attached to this kind of like werewolf shifter ebook is because I have an unhealthy obsession with wolf children um I don't read vampires or werewolves or like furry type things but this little series has me by like my neck every single time I want to put this on it's my comfort movie I watch it when I'm happy I watch it when I'm sad I just I love this so much and so I think I will love this one it's a bit spicier different story same kind of ish vibes and I do want to spray the edges of this one but do like a blue one that would be so cool so this is what has fueled this like obsession slash curiosity. Maybe that's why I like Omegaverse. Oh my God. crap I sound like crap I just remembered that I have a meeting in like two-ish hours and I I don't think I'm gonna be able to go because I cannot stay awake or maybe it'll just like my camera will not be on for said meeting but we're gonna talk about the two books that I read in this vlog because we're wrapping it up I know it's crazy I only read two books in this whole thing but I had a great time I look so so I look so pale like there's no color anywhere and I went to the beach and I tanned 
and now I'm sick and I look like this. Oh god. Let's do Butcher and Blackbird because I just finished this one. I still have to go through and annotate a little bit of it. We were barreling towards a five star with this book. But then there was a plot twist. If you know, you know what happens, you know? That made no sense. Anyways, there was a plot twist that happened and I just could not get behind it. I was like, I don't care if it's book one in an interconnected standalone trilogy. You cannot be dropping plot points at page 277 and you only have about, you have like 323 pages. Like, you're gonna drop a, like, a plot twist slash another plot line, what, like, 90-something percent of the way through the book? I had 45 minutes left in the audiobook, and I was like, wait, are we starting something that we have to continue in book two? Like, I understand they're, like, interconnected, they're interconnected books, but I thought we were gonna wrap this up. I thought the next book was about a different couple. Are we gonna get four POVs? Maybe it's because I'm sick and I don't understand. If I'm stupid, let me know. Are all of the books going to about going to <laughs> all of the books going to be about Sloane and Rowan? Because I thought that next book was about Lachlan and Lark. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'm very confused, and it could be the fact that I need to go to sleep. That's why we're closing this vlog out so I can edit this and like get it ready to go. <laughs> And then our four 4.5 star Queen, Good Game by Madison Fox. I love this book. The annotations speak for themselves. I was like kicking my feet, screaming, laughing, and I did want to put this book down. It was so, so good. Yeah, this one was really good, and I was loving Butcher and Blackbird until that plot twist at the end. Maybe, maybe I'm just tired and I don't understand we'll see thanks for hanging out with me i don't know how long this vlog is like 30 minutes of your day that's really cool tell me what books you read during this vlog tell me what you did during this um for me it's been an entire month i've done so much actually but also nothing at all put all my socials at the end of this video you can find me somewhere else on the internet and until next time happy reading <laughs>